Yo, what's up, no deskers? I've made this tutorial because someone asked for it in the group, and this is all about how to make those kind of cute testimonial speech bubble things for your website. So when you have a testimonial, rather than just write it like text, you could have a cute image instead, which is a little bit more eye-catching. So there's a few ways of doing these. So I'll show you all of them, basically. What you want to do is go to PicMonkey, which is a totally free online tool at www.pickmonkey.com and um, you've got all these different options up here and you can pick design and you don't really need to pick a size because we're going to end up cropping what you've done anyway so just hit design and it will just give you like a blank canvas like this and the first one I'm going to show you is just like really really basic because um, you know, there's loads of different ways of doing testimonials. Some of them might just be like a little sound bite, like where someone's just said a one-liner about your work and you just want to like post it up, um, almost like a little just a post-it note <laughs> style of testimonial. So it's not like a really in-depth one where you need their website and their picture and everything. It's just really basic. So the way to do that is, first of all, we want to make the canvas transparent because when you post it up on your website, um, if your website's got a background colour, you don't want any kind of like white, you don't want a white square around your little speech bubble. You want it to look like it floats on its own. So um, you can make it transparent like this. You just click on that little um, box that says transparent canvas in the canvas colour section. Um, if you if your website's white anyway, then you can you can obviously just keep the background white. It's fine. It's totally up to you. But if you make it transparent, it also means that you can place it um, on other mediums. So, for example, if you're making a poster or a business card or anything, you can like float that image um, onto your design, and it won't have the white square box around it. It will just be on its own, like a cutout. All right, so now our background is transparent. We need to go and get some speech bubble stuff um, to make these cute testimonials, right? Oh, always hit apply. Um, and, the, and the speech bubbles are here. You, you click the butterfly, and this is like all of PicMonkey's um, bank of imagery, which is basically free to use. Um, some images are classed as royal, which means you have to pay, um, but the, it's only like a five pound a month subscription. In fact, I think it's actually five dollars, so it's really cheap. Um, so I actually pay five dollars a month to have access to more images, but the speechable ones you can have um, with or without anyway, because if you look, the basic ones are all these ones in black, and they are totally free to use, and the royal ones are these kind of slightly more cartoony ones. But to be honest, I don't use these ones anyway, because I think they look a little bit naff. Um, so we're just going to go for a really basic one, so I'm just going to pick this. And you can make it like pretty big, however, whoop, however big you want, you can move it around the canvas. So just basically stretch it up, and you can also pick a colour. So you can actually match the colour to your website or whatever. Um, here's where you can put the hex code in for your own web colours, so one of mine is FF99CC and it gives it that kind of pink. Um, you can have any colour you want. Obviously don't pick white <laughs> unless you're on a really, unless you've got a crazy coloured background on your website or whatever. Okay, so now you've got your speech bubble image in place, now we need to add some text over it. Um, so you just go here on the left, there's the little T, which is the text icon. And if you click that, all the different fonts will come up. So here, again, you can try, um, you can actually use your own fonts that are in your own computer, which gives like, oh my god, so many. Um, and Or you can use the ones that PicMonkey have, so there's some quite funky ones in here. Especially if you if you have the Royal payment, what if you're paying to upgrade to the Royal? The ones with the little crown means those are in the Royal package, so you have to pay for those. But any of the other fonts you can use, and you can upload your own as well. So use the fonts that match your website and your design stuff. Like remember, with branding, it's so important to be consistent. You don't want to like start using all these woo-woo fonts if it's not really part of your brand. It will just look weird and amateur. 
Um, and also, most of these fonts are really not suitable. Um, they, they're not very easy to read, some of them. So you definitely want something that's easy to read. And you want it to reflect your brand and sort of match the stuff you already have on your website, okay? So I use, uh, you can t tell which ones I use, they're all at the top. Um, I use Impact and One Trick Tony quite a lot, and some of those didactic gothic. I quite like clean fonts. Uh, so we all we can just use any of those, or we'll just pick a random one from here. Can make it look a bit like it's handwritten and stuff. <laughs> okay, let's just pick one and do it. So when you click on a font that you like, and then you click this button here, add text, a little text box opens up with a dialog box here at the side, so you can change the color of the font and the size and how it's justified like on the center or left or right. So here's where you're basically just going to type your testimonial in. So you can type it freehand or you can actually go and cut and paste it from if you've stored it anywhere. So I don't know, I'm just going to make something up now. Oops. My computer is lagging. I need a new one. It sucks. So just imagine someone said that about me. Hey, let's not imagine. That happens all the time. <laughs> right, and now we can just stretch the text up. You can also kind of drop the lines down to make it fit better. And you can pull and drag the text box. to make it fit and then obviously change colour so you've got the colour picker here or you can type your tech your the hex code of the colours that you use in your branding here. Um, either way just you know I quite like using white on my pink so I'm gonna do that. And that is really just you know the basics of it. That is so simple and easy to do it's just transparent background Pick the speech bubble you want from the um, selection in PicMonkey, change the colour and then put your text in it and that's it. So now you could save this and it, when you save it with a transparent background you must save it as a PNG and not a JPEG because a JPEG would fill in around it and make it a white square again which you don't want. So keep it as a PNG. You can also change the size here. So I mean that's quite massivo. You probably don't need it that big. Maybe just take it down to like 500 by 500. And then just obviously name it. Um, so, star test emonial. Oops, I can't spell. And then save it to your computer. And I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. So I'm just going to save it somewhere in my pictures that I use for business. So I'll probably stick it in here. All right. So love that save and it tells you when it's done it and it says masterpiece saved. Not that it's a masterpiece. So hopefully it will be in here somewhere. And I can show you. There we go. There you go. Ta-da! And um, you know, if you'd done it as a JPEG, it would have like a white square like around it as well, but as you can see, because it's a PNG, it just kind of floats on its own. Um, and I can show you how that would look if you were using that on top of another design. All right, so let's do something else. Close that. And we'll start again with a new design. So we're now going to make it a little bit more fancy. So we're going to imagine we've got... we been given a picture from a person as well to make the testimonial with so your client has agreed to let you use a you know a picture of their face so it gives it breathes life into the testimonial if people can see who it is making the testimonial and it just makes it feel more real so I do recommend if you're adding testimonials to your sales pages that you do you know ask for the person that's given you the testimonial ask them for their picture their photograph it just, it just feels so much more authentic and when people go to your sales page 
They're really looking to try and trust you. And when they see that there's actual real people that are t saying good things about you, then it does instill that layer of trust, okay? So it's well worth doing. So again, we're just like in a blank canvas now. And um, I'm going to show you how to make um, a sort of a cute testimonial with um, the, a photo. So first of all, we are going to um, bring in a, a picture. Now what you do is you go to the butterfly again, and up here at the top there's a button that says your own, and this is where you can add your own stuff. So I'm just going to go in and grab a um, testimonial picture I already have in here. So this is my friend. Sorry Peggy, hope you don't mind. So I've made this picture round and I can show you how to do that as well, I'll show you that in a sec, but for now, um, it doesn't matter really what shape you have your picture, but I'm going to place her just on my blank canvas, wherever I want it, so it could be big or small, but then I want to do, I want to bring, you can either make that um, bubble speech bubble again from scratch or you can import the one you already have, so let's imagine if we imported it. So you go to the butterfly and then go to there it is. Okay, so see what I mean by it's a PNG. If you look, there's no white background to it. It's totally standalone cutout. So you can even layer it over the picture you have of your client. So you could make the client picture pretty big if you wanted to and then put the speech bubble so it really looks like it's coming out of her mouth. <laughs> so that's... Um, <laughs> my friend's going to kill me. <laughs> so that's how you do it. That's how you can, That's one way anyway. And then obviously you can crop around um, this picture as well if you wanted to by going to here where there's little like square boxes and you're going to crop and then you just drag the crop box as much as you want and then click apply so that's like a little cute um, way to do just the shorter testimonials because obviously if they're really long you can't really put them in a speech bubble it's a bit of a nightmare um, but that's just a way of doing like those short one liners that people send you and then obviously you just want to save that to your computer like you did before and you can say this one as a JPEG because it doesn't have the um, background taken away. But if you wanted to, I'm just going to say that. Oh God, I can't spell testimonial. Isn't it the hardest w word? But if you wanted to, if you wanted this whole image to be like a single image without in a background, then you can do that too you just go to your canvas colour and click transparent again. But you'd obviously need to make sure any overlays were also transparent. So in this case, it isn't. But I'll show you how to do that as well. So you can make your client pictures round and without a background or anything. Okay, so let's do that now. So what we're going to do, rather than go to design, we're going to go to edit. And then just <laughs> pick a picture. Those are all my crazy fucking pictures. Oh god, I dread to think. Some right. Uh, okay, let's imagine this is crazy client. <laughs> and this is going to be your testimonial picture. Hopefully not as blurry and fuzzy as this one, but you never know what your clients might send you. So if you wanted to make this into a round picture with a transparent transparent background it's really easy this is how you do it okay first of all you need to crop your picture to make it square so you can do that by putting the crop box on and then you can um, you can either do it by eye like this by just pulling the box or you can actually put it in here so maybe just say a thousand by a thousand apply 
And now to make it round, you just go to this image here, which is frames. Actually, no, you don't. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> go here, and right up here, there's um, rounded corners. We click rounded corners, and then drag the corner radius all the way in like this. So that all that is is a sliding bar. You just pull it along, and then you can actually um, make the the, tra the corners transparent. You can actually give it any colour you like like this, you see, <laughs> you can go really wild if you want to um, but if you want it transparent so you can make, make a transparent image out of it you need to click this box here which says transparent corners and as you can see it's made it transparent so this is your <laughs> client picture uh, and as usual just save that to the website and then what we're going to do in a minute we're going to make that same um, text box image again uh, sorry the testimonial box image again using this so I can show you how the whole thing can then be transparent at the back so you can place it on anything all right right so now we're going to put it all together and make our final image with the little bits and pieces we've done so far so again go to design and open up a blank and then we're going to bring in our images we made earlier so we go to the butterfly and add your own and then we want to find picture we just did, which is here, and you can make that whatever size you want, just like before. And uh, now we need to bring in the speech bubble. So we can either bring in the speech bubble um, testimonial that we made already, or we can totally make a new one from scratch, because when you make them in PicMonkey itself, they already are cutouts. It's only when you save stuff that it, it puts a background on. So um, we don't have to use the one that we made. We can just go crazy and make a new one. So if you go again, stay uh, in this sub menu with the from the butterfly image and go to the speech bubbles. So you can have all kinds of shapes here. I use like <laughs> most of them at different times and you can also flip them as well I didn't show you this earlier but if you like the shape of this one more but the arrow thing is going the wrong way then just click on it and uh, this dialog box comes up whenever you add anything to PicMonkey and so you can actually flip it by hitting that little button there okay you can also move them around like this so you can make them different you know well not different shapes as such but um, and then you want to like obviously give it a colour, so I'm going to match it to mine, which is the hex code FF99CC. Um, you can obviously use any colour here at all, there's like a million colours, or you can add your own branded hex code into it and um, do it that way. So you can just like make this speech bubble any size, shape or whatever, um, and or use any kind of speech bubble you want. Um, and then again, you just want to add your text. So go to the text icon and pick, uh, you know, like I said before, like a nice clean font works best. Because you want to be able to, um, well, it needs to be clear for people to read it, right? You don't want to have some obscure font that doesn't show up well on the internet. Um, and you don't want it to, uh, like, too much of a thin font that you can't really see it properly. So, and then just type your testimonial in or, um, you know, cut and paste it from if you have it saved. So, I'm just making one up. Actually, it's not made up because people do say this. And, uh, and then you can match this to your speech bubble. So, if you moved your speech bubble around, you can, like, move the text as well. So, all the icons have this little, like... I don't know what you'd call that, <laughs> like a little lollipop thing sticking up. And then you just, you can just like turn it. And you can do the same for the text. And obviously change the colour of the text as well. Um, make it bigger. Ooh. And you can... Uh, oops. You can just rearrange it basically so it fits better inside the box. Move it 
move it around. And then you end up with like, you know, just whatever you want, a little crazy image for your testimonials. And again, like before, you just save it. So you can either save it as it is with a white background and save it as a JPEG. Or if you go to um, this icon here and go to canvas color and then tick the transparent canvas box, you'll see that only the round image we already made and the actual testimonial speech bubble are solid. Everything else is completely transparent. So you could then place that image any way you wanted and it wouldn't have like a horrible white box around it at all. So you might want to crop it as well if it hasn't filled up the whole page. So you can just stretch out the crop box until it's done and then hit apply and then you can just save like normal. So that's a few ways of doing like speech bubble um, testimonials. So just have a play with those, do them in all kinds of different colours. You don't have to make circle um, heads <laughs> for your actual people. You can do them square or any kind of shape you like. There are loads of ways to play around with images in Pink Monkey, but I just wanted to make this one really fast and easy and, you know, for anyone to just go and do without needing to know everything about Pink Monkey. I'll do a more extensive one at some point. Um, we will look at other techniques you can use to make graphical testimonials. But until then, have fun and go and uh, mess around with Pink Monkey. Enjoy it. See you later. Bye.